Hello, this is Martin Chuck from the Raven Golf Club Phoenix. I want to talk to you about the snap in golf, the power, how you're going to feel the power in golf. And as an example, I'm going to show you a snap. Now, I hope you've never been on the receiving end of one of those. I have, it's no fun. But there's a lot of power in this towel if we time things right. And you can have a lot of power in your golf swing too. Let me show you you're going to do it. So how do we have this snap in golf? Well, the snap in golf is just like that towel. We have to transfer the energy segment to segment. One segment slows down, one accelerates as a result of the other one slowing down. You know, in golf everybody thinks that you know, we're just kind of turning and turning. Well, the facts are that's not the case. Certain things are putting on the brakes while other things accelerate. That's a lot to think about. But here's a simple drill I think is going to really help. Start over the golf ball. And I've got an 8-iron here, and you can do this with an 8-iron, 9-iron wedge, just some sort of short iron. And what you want to feel is the scenario of what's going to make this club snap, okay? It's not simply throwing the club head with the hands. It's actually being patient, using the ground, using the left leg, and letting the shoulder go up. Because this is a reverse catapult, people. A catapult, you're familiar with that? A lever, something pushes down, the other thing goes up. Well, in golf, it works the other way. In golf, we have a moment where we have some angle here, and then we have an up force that our left leg is going up, our shoulder is working up. That's what helps snap or accelerate the club head down, similar to how I used the towel. So let me hit a little shot and show you a drill. So see if you can see where the snap happens, and then I'll show you the drill. That snap comes pretty darn close to the bottom. Let me show you how that works. So here's the drill I want you to try at home. Get your short iron, set up over the golf ball. We're gonna take this club and hinge it. And if we unhinge it, we're gonna hit the ground right here, okay? So now I want you to feel like you can use your body, your left leg to help you come out of the ground in an upward motion. Your left shoulder works up and the club works down. So you'll do a little feel of Hinge, hinge, accelerate, and hit little shots. Let's do that one more time, and I'll show you down the line. So here's a down the line view of this drill. Again, I'm set up to an 8-iron as I normally would, and what we're going to do is we're going to maintain our elevation, take the club back, and let the club unhinge into the ground. And this is where it will unhinge, people, if we don't allow our left leg and left shoulder to help shallow things out. So let's do one more look from the front and we'll summarize this drill. So we're gonna unhinge, unhinge, use our left leg to push down into the ground to help our body come up so that we can have this pull up on the handle which makes the club head go down. I know that's probably bizarre for a lot of you to think about, but this sensation of this club getting to the low point of its arc, which is really somewhere in front of our right leg, the handle works up is what makes the club head snap down like that towel. This is Martin Chuck from the Raven Golf Club Phoenix. Post your questions and comments down below. I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.